All right, so we are now at Razan, um, the second tamer out here in Outland. And we have Chromenius up to level 20. We got uh, MPD up to level 20. Oh, I was going to rename. Let's see. Hannah. Okay. And um, my new staff idol. You know, let's see. Uh, here, we'll change that to Arcane Explosion. So now watch this. He's going to, if he does Cocoon Strike. Oh, it's so annoying that this guy changes his routine every single time. Like last time I engaged him, he started with Cocoon Strike right off the bat. Okay. I just don't want to go into the next fight with shatter defense on. Okay. Looks like that's going to happen no matter what. Okay. Now I'm going to switch to my mechanical Pandaren Dragon Lane. I wonder if that'll kill him. The six percent of his total health. I don't know how much health he has left. But if he does Arcane Storm, he's dead. Oh yay! He didn't. Okay, he survived. Granted, he did crit on Surge of Power, which is kind of annoying, but we'll we'll survive. Okay, do a nice Thunderbolt. Now, what's awesome about Thunderbolt is it's one of those abilities that it's split across multiple characters. Um, that's awesome. I didn't even have to bring in the Anubis Staff Idol. Okay. I mean, that was really close for these guys. And now they're caught up and level. And I leveled up. Awesome. Look at that. Okay. Alright, now we're heading to Nagran to kill Naruk. Now, I'm going to throw in Flyby because that does bonus damage. And then that does weak versus critters, so we'll do the beast type move. And I have decoy now. Awesome. Um, rupture. Oh yeah, that does tons of damage versus mechanical types. Oh, was he? No, he wasn't high enough yet when we fought. Uh, what's his bucket? Uh, Nikki Tiny Tech. I think he was only level 18 at the time. Okay, and we will go. Yeah, I think we're going to run Ancient Blessing more so now. Okay, yep. And the reason I'm running Flyby is because this first guy here, I know... Um, do they have a... Oh, they do have a Stable Master. Yes. Okay. Townsfolk. Stable Master is being tracked. I just want to heal my pets. And not use the very few pet bandages that I do have on this guy. Yeah, I've got three. On my main account with, uh, you know, Gomrath, I've got like eight million thousand gazillion jillion of them. Oh, he's not going to show up because I haven't done any of the quests here. At least I don't think so. Yeah. Ah, uh, stinker. Okay. I guess I will use a pet bandage. Because they're both at 50% health. Okay. Now it's time to fight Naruk. By the way, this guy can be beaten entirely with the Harpy Youngling that you snag in the Northern Barrens. Like, she just is an awesome pet. Okay. Let's see. You know, maybe I should have gone Thunderbolt. I know it does weak damage versus the critter but it it's like a better filler okay is he gonna throw swarm flies out what do i do just keep doing that i mean yeah it's okay for a basic okay uh, do, 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 do. okay now here's what I'm going to do. 
Gonna do a flyby. I'm gonna do a bomb. And then I'm gonna throw down this little bad boy here to get a free switch. Okay, I'm gonna start with bite. Kachinga! Then we're gonna do Ravage here, get some health back. Okay, I'm gonna do one more attack. Um, yeah, now I'm switching to the Anubis. Ouch. Jeez, buddy. You just did 50% of my health when I switched in. Yeah, that hurts. Okay, at least that didn't hurt too bad. Alright, and that was Naruk with the Dream Team. Okay, well, two of them leveled up, 22. Oh, yeah, I don't have to talk to him yet. And now we're heading to Rasan. Since we're moving through these so fast, I think I'm going to do three in this segment. I know the next one is to beat, um, what's his face? Blood Knight Anzari or something. And he is, he can be really challenging, but I do have the right pets to beat him. So I don't think he's going to be too bad. Because you can beat him, I think, in my two-pet uh, two team or two-pet guide that I have. I use the... I don't think I use the MPD. Uh, but I do use the Anubis. Okay. Since we're going to go against all aquatic types. Yeah. That's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. Perfecto all the way around. All right, Mr. Morulu. We are coming for you, Lou. I know it's a bad rhyme. I'm going to be a great father someday. Not only because I make bad rhymes, but because I love children. Okay. So we are going to do one of these little bad boys. Fly by. Then... That. Hmm. Does bleed? Do those actually affect decoys? Let's see. Nope. Oh, I gotta remember these guys are blood in the water, fellas. Okay. So, depending on how much longer uh, the MPD lasts will depend on okay let's see that bleed will definitely kill him this round which is okay um and then we'll switch into hmm okay i'm not bleeding but he may just go for a yellow blood in the water attack i've seen him do that before let's see what does he do what does he do okay he just throws a bleed on ah that was silly Okay, MPD is not going to survive this. Um, okay, Ravage. Okay, throwing down Sandstorm. It should do a lot of damage. Alright, he went for the Yolo Blood in the water. Um... This guy does have consume. I think I'll do what, one more attack, maybe. Yeah. Stinker. I'm going to do shield. I feel like he'd go for the blood in the water. He did. And I don't know if that would have hit or not, but. Okay, enough of this garbage. 
How much would this hit for? This will kill him. Uh, we're going to switch. And I know I could have finished it there, but I just want to get the experience, like spread it around between everybody. Okay. Finish him off, buddy. Alright, so, unfortunately, MPD didn't make it through there. Hannah died. But, these guys did. So. Okay, now we're on Blood Knight. What's his bucket? And that'll be a different video.